A St. Louis man is concerned the federal government's mistake could open the door to fraud. The Social Security Administration sent a letter to his dead sister about resuming benefit checks. Only News 4's Russell Kinsall has the story and is trying to get answers from the government. Russell? Right now, this Social Security office in downtown St. Louis is closed, as they are across the area, but the agency has thousands of letters in the mail on their way to their destinations right now. One St. Louis man wonders whether or not some of those letters are being sent to someone who's already died and could be opening the door to fraud. The last uh, employment she had was with the city of St. Louis. She worked in the accounting department there. Ken Rimmel says his sister Pat Rimmel was so good at her job, she helped the city save money. She would have been 76 last week. September 14th was, was her final day. Pat died of complications from a stroke. That's why Ken was surprised by a letter from the Social Security Administration. Addressed to Pat, in fact, yeah, to, to rein, uh, reinstate her uh, monthly benefits. The letter asks for more information in order to resume her benefits and talks about billing her directly from Medicare, even though she died two months ago. First I thought it was a joke, but then I know it's, it was official because the envelope was in, the paperwork. We were there when Rimmel called about the mix-up. He finally spoke with someone after a 45-minute wait. I'm trying to figure out uh, why does she still need this when she passed away in September. Rimmel was told that the letter was automatically generated by a contractor and should be disregarded. But how often does Social Security make this mistake? So we called to ask. I also wanted to know if the mistake makes it easy for someone to illegally get Social Security checks. Hello, and thank you for calling the Kansas City Regional Public Affairs Office for the Social Security Administration. But no one has responded to our questions. You would think that once it's reported to the Social Security Administration of something like this, all departments in that administration would know about it. So Rimmel was told to just disregard the letter, not to worry about it. He said he's going to wait and see whether or not the Social Security Administration does update its records and keep its promise not to send his late sister any more mail. Live downtown, Russell Kinsall, News.